22,000. The number of unemployed young people in Mauritius. I was one of them. We spend one third, one third our life achieving certificates, degrees, only to find ourselves faced to one of the greatest challenges of our life. Finding a job. Finding a job is an experience we have all been through. Interviews after interviews, the certificates we earn with so much of effort, it starts to appear worthless. In fact, this is how I felt. After having completed my degree in agriculture, I was jobless. The only thing I had was my knowledge in agriculture and lots of free time. Besides, agriculture is laborious, capital intensive. You need money for land, you need money for tractors, you need money for labor, you need money for practically everything. I needed an alternative. And one such alternative was rooftop farming. I initiated rooftop farming with the aim of putting to use my knowledge in agriculture. And so I started to grow tomatoes, coriander, peanuts. However, what I got as a result, that was outstanding. In 70 meters square, air on my rooftop, I had a yield of 1,000 kilograms of tomatoes, which I sold at 32,000 rupees. I felt like a rich man. <laughs> 32,000? <laughs> but growing of tomatoes requires a little bit of expertise. So I will share with you how a very simple crop, coriander, can be equally feasible. If you have an area of 50 meters square, which is the same as a three bedroom house, you can, have, you can make a sale of 25,000 rupees a month. 25,000. It is so practical that anyone can do it. If you're a student, you want to earn some extra pocket money, you can do it. You have a job, you want to earn some extra money, you can do it. Oh, if you don't have a job, you can do it on a temporary basis, just like I did. The idea to turn it into a business, a real-time business, is only dependent on the individual. A recent study carried out at the University of Mauritius under the supervision of Professor Faknat and Professor Lalji showed that out of the 10,000 farmers that you have in Mauritius, 7%, only 7% are young people. When the older generation are going to retire, we will be facing a major crisis in food production. We need a strategy. We need a new generation of sustainable farmers. And we could be that generation of sustainable farmers. We, the rooftop growers. By adopting rooftop farming, not only we are securing a job, but we are also contributing to the food security of our country. To end, if unemployed as I was, think. Think of your area of expertise and exploit it. Exploit it fully. But if you have tried again and again, again and again, that nothing is working, that you are still part of that 22,000 people, don't worry. You always have coriander. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>